Well, hello. Uh, today is January 8th, and uh, today angel number is 25. It says that all your actions should confirm to be purpose of life. You should be able to raise yourself above all the obstacles. So take that number, and if it doesn't resonate, that's fine. That's what I picked up today. Okay, now, today I'm going to do Leo first, a fire sign, and that's what came out, and I also wrote it down, uh, the horoscopes, because I don't want to confuse nobody, so I wrote it down, okay? Now, uh, this is about love, and let's begin. This is a uh, uh, Leo, probably a male or a female, and fall in love with a Pisces, and I feel another person. This is a Cancer, a dolphin. Dolphin is a dolphins are beautiful, creative, and playful, and very nice. Nice. So I see maybe it's a mother figure, a father figure, or um. Both uh, a woman could be masculine too in your energy. So I see the two, they're two together, Pisces, and taking advice from a beautiful Cancer. And look, the woman or a male is very vibrant. See the colors, see the pink, see the yellow, see the orange, very vibrant, beautiful creatures. So, author is a uh, I see why you love this Pisces because he is very playful and he's very bright and creative and you love that passion and you love what that person is saying to you. He's very uh, stable and that's really good. Now, this is still your reading. I see a good golden ink. So, yeah, both are very good of a work ethnic. So, you see that person very good in that work ethnics, and it is very nice. It's very good, actually. You know, you're blocking that negativity, and you say, you know what, I'm going to take that golden egg, and I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to be happy, and that's very good reading. Now, there's a, there, there's a Capricorn, but it's not a person. No, not this one. It's not a person. It's probably how you're feeling. And that's to come. Okay? So, this is a dare. Now, this dare is very, bull, uh, very good. It's very good. Okay? <laughs> very good. And I'm very observant. There's a very observant creatures. So, if you reach that and you resonate, a very good creature and also a good phoenix. Okay, so Phoenix is magical, powerful, renewal, and passionate. But this is a good reading. It means passionate and love. So you are a very happy young man and young woman. You're very ha happy with a Pisces. Or maybe seeing a Pisces in your future. Because look at the colors. It's bright and it's green right here. Grace of love, green. Very good. Okay, so let me see of your mid futures. Now I'm gonna put this card like this. And I'm gonna show you. Now, now I'm gonna go keep on going. Keep on going and I'm gonna choose it for you. Now this I'm sorry, I gotta put in a light. Oh, very nice. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to be with you forever. This is good. <laughs> I'm going to do this. And that's how you both feel right here. Now. Now I'm going to see what y'all both say. Let's see. Now I'm going to move these cars how I normally do it. It's going to be a little different, okay? Now, well, I wish I had treated you better. 
um, maybe you knew this person from past and you probably just met that person or how you feeling, um, how that person is feeling. Maybe I treated you better. So he's approving. Okay. That's how your man feels. I don't know why. Or maybe you had a, a little argument there. Who knows? Now, I'm going to put what she said. I left you before. You could leave me? Stop thinking now. So negative when this man really loves you dearly. Okay, Leo? Or Emil, Leo? Stop feeling that way. Because I feel there's a strong connection here. It don't have to be a soulmate or a twin flame. Just go with your insight. Be that woman that you want it to be. Be in love. Be happy. Have that family of your dream. That's all I could tell you. And that's it for this reading for Leo. Next up is a Sagittarius. And thank you for reading. This is a Leo reading. And thank you. Those who resonate with a Pisces or those who res resonated with a Cancer and know these Pisces and Cancers, please respond on the uh, comments down below. And thank you for listening to this reading. And, oh, I also forgot a vision. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing is yet in stone. So stop looking at the stone and go with your moment. Go with your feelings. Go with your heart, please. Okay?